They came in droves, driving off the paddocks and into the city, descending on central Auckland with a clear message. Stop the planned agricultural emissions tax. Palmerston North, they paraded their prized machinery through the city centre. Farmers worried the proposed emissions tax will rip the guts out of rural New Zealand. Look around you. Every fifth farmer you see here today will be gone by 2030. Farmers want to be heard in that, you know, we care for our farms, we care for our livelihoods, and we actually care for the environment. And farmers say vegetable prices will increase if the tax goes ahead. Those farmers out in force in the South Island too. Of the 56 convoys nationwide, Christchurch was perhaps the most colourful. Further south in Dunedin City, locals turned up in support. Ground. An election issue, farmers are refusing to stay quiet. On. It's just trying to drive farmers off the land uh, and uh, we just feel, feel it's unfair. The government wants to introduce an emissions tax that will, on its own, rip out 20% of sheep and beef sectors production and 6% of dairy sectors production. Look around you. Every fifth farmer you see here today will be gone by 2030. <laughs> From the paddocks and shingle townships to the highways and roads leading to the city, the country has rolled in en masse. Protesters descending on more than 50 cities and centres from Kaitaia to the deep south. Farmers, tradies and support staff just wanting to be heard. I've lost mates, I've buried so many mates uh, due to suicide over last year. It's, uh, it's killing the industry. And for the first time in my life, I'm actually considering getting out of farming. From water issues to land reclassification, crowds listened on, hoping the message would be heard where it matters. But is anyone listening? The model predicts land use for sheep and beef farming could fall by up to 20%. Land for dairying could also fall by 6%, while forestry increases by about 5%, which farmers say will devastate small towns. What it's saying is that one-fifth of our sheep and dairy Beef, uh, sheep and beef farmers will be gone by 2030, 5% reduction in our dairy farmers in that period of time. The problem with it, the second problem is that New Zealand is already the most carbon efficient farmers and we feed 40 million people and that production will just simply go offshore. The answer really clearly is you just can't knock off a fifth of our sheep and beef farmers. You really have to make sure that we're just not moving emissions to less, you know, and, and worsening the global emissions. You know, you cannot go and offload one fifth of your beef and, and lamb industry within seven years move those emissions off overseas to less carbon efficient or emission efficient farms and countries and make global emissions even worse. And on the other hand, you can't actually say to farmers, we're going to charge you the full price of your emissions, but not actually give you the credits for all the good things that you're doing. I've, I meet with two or three farmer groups on the farm each and every week. Um, you know, last week I was in Waipukarao, I was in Dannyvirk, I've been in Waimati, I've been in Belclutha, talking to farmers on the ground. What the government's proposing and what they propose are very different schemes. We need to change our mindset from saying farmers are villains. We have the best farmers in the world. They're the most efficient, emissions efficient farmers in the world. But the answer is not to go destroy people's livelihoods uh, in the way that the government has, has brutally come down to in the last few weeks. But there's amazing things happening on farm. And so we need to back our farmers rather than vilify them, which is I think what's been happening with this government, and actually make sure that we actually develop a solution that actually deals with agricultural emissions, ultimately prices those emissions, but does so in a way that we can pace it and, and do it in the right way. If we've got a Labour government that comes in with a big bumper sticker, you know, but talking big about climate change, we actually have gone and knocked off oil and gas, and gas in particular. We now import three times as much coal as we did in any year of a national government, and actually our emissions have got worse. And the government went and knocked off the gas sector in New Zealand overnight. Uh, as a result, it ended up having to actually import in bucket loads, a million tonnes of Indonesian coal to New Zealand, almost three times as much as we've imported in, in any given year under the national government.